Hello and welcome to this Term 1's second episode of Kilbury Live. For week 10. My name is Abbas from 56A. And my name is Danielle from 56A. And my name is Lindy, also from 56A. Today we'll be speaking to Mrs. Taylor about our native re- reading program and ask her some questions. We have a 10 inside 60 with Miss Wanstall and we will check out our second maths challenge with Oliver. This episode will highlight our Fortnite's value. Shamala will give us a tech tip. We'll also be reviewing some important dates and check in with our school's environmental warriors. Now we'll be heading to Shamala to talk to us about her tech tip video. Hi KVPS, today I'm going to give you some tips to stay safe online. Tip 1. Never friend anyone you don't know online without your parents' permission. Tip 2. Never send packages, money or sign contracts without your parents' permission. I hope you stay safe online and have a great day. Bye! Thanks Shamala for that great tech tip. Here at Kilby Valley Primary School, we have some new teachers to introduce. Over the year, Kubri Live has hoped to spend some time learning about these new teachers in our 10 Inside 60 segment. First off for the year, we'll visit Miss Wanstall to ask her some questions and learn more about her. Over to you, Xavier and Mason. Hello, today I'm interviewing Miss Wanstall for our Kilbury Live segment 10 Inside 60. Miss Wanstall will have 60 seconds to answer as many of the questions, um, the 10 questions as she can. Thank you, Miss Wanstall, for allowing us to ask you 10 questions so our school will get to know you better. Are you, be- are you ready, Miss Wanstall? I'm ready. Start the clock now. What's your favourite movie? I couldn't pick just, oh, it's very hard to pick one, but I've just seen the new Batman movie with Wonder Woman, so that's my favourite at the moment. <laughs> nice option. Yeah. Um, what is your favourite subject to teach? Oh, I think maths. Counting can be lots of fun. <laughs> if you had a chance to have a power, what would it be? I was only just discussing this after watching that movie, actually, but I think Probably Superman's powers because he can do a bit of everything. Fly really fast, I think would be awesome. <laughs> What's your favourite food? I love pasta. Any kind of pasta, lasagna. Mm. I always pick my mum to make me pasta. <laughs> Donuts or cake? Cake. Chocolate. What is your favourite animal? Dogs. What was your favourite snack and food to eat um, during remote teaching in 2020? I snacked on lots of fruit. Lots of strawberries, celery and carrots. <laughs> What's your favourite sport? <clears throat> Do you know, I don't play a lot of sport. I've just started running, so I'm going to say running. <laughs> What's your favourite f- flavour in potato chips, in your opinion? Oh. I like this question. Again, how can you pick just one? (laughs) Uh, Sour cream, no, not sour cream, cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. What is your favourite country um, to travel and why? Um, I think my favourite country was Switzerland and I went there a few years ago and I loved it because it was so peaceful. There's lots of mountains and hills, um, snowy peaks. It was just a very relaxing place to be. Thank you for answering these questions and letting us to know you better. Thank you, it was my pleasure. Bye Miss Wallstall, have a great day. Thank you too. Bye. Thank you Miss Wallstall for answering all those interesting questions. I can't wait to see who will be the next teacher for our episode 3. Let's check out what our school values for the term are. Being respectful and the focus of the fortnight being a responsible learner and following our golden rules. Over to you Sky, Amy and Shamala. Hi 
This term's value is respect. And this fortnight's focus is being a responsible learner. Being a responsible learner at Kilbury Valley Primary School is following our five golden rules. Our golden rules are Rule 1. Be a responsible and supportive member of the learning community. Rule 2. Communicate with others in a courteous and respectful manner. Rule 3. Stay within your own personal space. Rule 4. Use equipment for its correct purpose at the correct time. Rule 5. Follow all staff instructions. Let's see what our students' thoughts are about. Our fortnight's focus of being a responsible learner. Being a responsible and supportive person. Good job, girls. Oh, thanks. Use all school equipment for its correct purpose. Great job in knowing your golden rules. Let's see how you can focus on being respectful and being a responsible learner. And, and following, following our school's golden rules. Keep, Keep up, up with the good, good work, work Kilbury Valley. Remember to always follow our golden rules that are displayed in your classroom and all around the school. Kilbury Valley is such a positive and respectful school and our values are very important. So keep up the fantastic work. Next, Oliver will be explaining the episode 2 math challenge. It's that time again for the math problem solving challenge. Thank you to all the children who put their entries into the box for the last challenge. We had some good explanations on how you worked it out. We have junior school winners and senior school winners. And here they are. Make sure to collect your prize at the studio during lunch. If you feel like taking on this episode's challenge, write your solution on how you worked it out on a piece of paper. Make sure your name and class is on your answer and put it in the math problem solving box in the front office. If we are solving problems, we should first check our problem solving process. Step 1. Understand the problem. We need to identify the key information and make sure we understand what the question is asking us. Step 2. Plan what to do. How are you going to go about solving the problem? Are you going to draw it, use a pattern, or maybe you'll write an equation? Step 3. Take action. Follow your plan to solve the problem. Step 4. Check your answer. Ask yourself, does my answer make sense with the problem? Is there another way I could work it out? Are you ready? Today's junior school problem is, if I add 7 and 7 and another 7, my answer will be 25. Agree or disagree? Today's senior school problem is, if I halve a number 3 times, I am left with 11. What number do I start with? Remember your problem solving process. And also, remember how you worked it out. When you have a solution, Put your answer in the box at the front office. And good luck! Well, please make sure you enter. Names of those who answer correct will be displayed in episode 3 of Kubri Live. Now we'll be heading to Sachi to ask some questions about the Knights of Reading program with Mrs. Taylor. Over to you, Shachi. Today I'll be interviewing you about the reading program. Question 1. Is reading one of your favourite things to do? I absolutely love reading and you can see I've got my reading glasses on today. That's So great. yeah, it's, it's, it's fabulous to read. Okay. Yeah. Question number two. What is the main idea behind this KVPS reading program? Well, the main idea behind the reading program is to get everyone excited about reading every night. It's not the number of books you read, it's if you read every night. Okay, brilliant. Question number three, what is one of your favourite books to read? Now that, that's a really hard question because I really like a lot of books, but one of the books that really moves me is Charlotte's Web. I used to cry all the time when at the end of the story, I won't tell you the end of the story, 
is a little bit sad and even when I was reading that book to the students I would always cry. Okay, a really nice book. Why is it important for our students to participate in the reading challenge? Because reading is so important for learning. You've got to know how to read to be able to learn a lot of things. So, and I want everyone to enjoy reading books as much as I enjoy reading. Okay, very good. How many students have read at least 25, 50 or 10 times since the start of the year? So, I was talking to Mrs Merritt today and she told me that 69 students have read 25 nights, which is pretty exciting. 13 have read at least 50 books, which is fabulous. And there are a couple of students already who have read for 75 nights. Okay. Now, do you know that we're going to have a special party? Oh, that's fabulous. We're going to have a, a, an in-between party. Um, the invitation has gone out into the newsletter. And if you have read for 50 nights by the second last day of this term, okay. which is March the 31st, so you can read on the weekend as well, so get out there and get reading, we're going to have a special party. So at the moment, I have 15 students who are going to be coming to that party. So I hope that you can be one of those members of that party as well. Oh, that's fun. And did you know that you can get your names put into the newsletter each um, when the newsletter comes out every fortnight and Mrs Merritt comes around and she takes photos of students who have read 25 nights, 50 nights, 75 nights and I know in your classrooms you are keeping a record as well of each 10 nights that you read. Have you been reading? That's what I'm yeah, going to ask. Yeah, definitely. 50 what? nights. How many? 50 nights. You're already 50 so it sounds like you're going to come to my party. Thanks. That'll be awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Taylor, for letting me interview you. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you so much. Here are the school environmental warriors with a tip on looking after our environment. Over to the environmental warriors. Make sure to bring nude food to school. Make sure not to forget these important dates. End of term is this Thursday, 1st of April. Turn 2 starts on the 19th of April. Kubri Valley Fun Run is on the 29th of April, so you better start running. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Kilbury Live. See you next time. Bye. Bye.